Okay, so this is a cute application that I would typically do in class during our second week, and this is a picture sizer. And so I have a picture, and um, I have these buttons here. We can increase by 10%, decrease by 10%, or do a custom size. So here's the increase, okay, and then we can decrease. It's always kind of interesting to see how small you can how small you can go shrieking down to just a dot and now it looks like it disappeared um, and then we have the custom side size now watch this when I click the custom size button we'll have some additional controls appear okay so those were not there before obviously so we only want to present those to the user if they want to do a custom size so let's say I want to do like a hundred by 150 okay and there we there we have it so let's take a look at the code. We have an interesting phenomenon going, going on here in um, behind the scenes. Um, first, let me just uh, take care of something easy. When, when the program first runs, these controls are not visible to the user. And basically, every control has what we call a visible property. And that's whether or not, I mean, they're, they're always visible at, at design time to you, the developer, but visible means are they visible to the user at runtime? So if you set a control's visible property to false, then the user will not see that at runtime. So all of these, these five controls, are, their visible properties are set to false at design time so when we when the user clicks that submit button or that um that uh custom size button i'm setting those five controls their visible properties to true okay those are the labels i didn't give them meaningful names but the text boxes the submit button they all have uh they all become true they all become visible at that point okay so let's take a look at this one, the increase by 10%. Okay, I'm going to show you what's going on here. Um, first, we're going to isolate the current height and width of the picture box. That's capturing the current height and width at, at the time that they click that button. And the, um, the picture box is called PIC Display, and it has a height and width property Okay, that can be captured at any time and put into these variables current height and current width. Now to increase by 10%, we want to, for example, multiply the current height and the current width as well by 1.1. That'll increase the, the height by 10%. Now here's the problem. Current height is an integer. 1.1 is not an integer. So we have really what is called a type mismatch. I like to call it an apples and oranges type of situation. We have two different data types. And so you have to do a little maneuvering, a little massaging to get this statement to work. So um, when I take an integer and multiply it by a decimal number, the result is going to be a decimal number. And that, that, that's all well and good, but I cannot put a decimal result into an integer variable. I'm going to get some kind of error. In fact, let me take out this. This is the remedy there. I'll put it back in, but I'm going to take this out. Right away, the compiler is complaining. Cannot implicitly convert type double to type int. Okay. So it's asking me, do you need a typecast? And when we have a, when we cast a data or a piece of data from one type to another, we're basically like changing it temporarily from one type to another. And so in this case, I want this whole thing here, this chunk here, the current high times 1.1, I want that to end up being an integer. Okay, so I'm going to cast it. I'm going to take the keyword int and put it out in front. Think of this as like a magic wand, changing what's in here to an integer so we can get it to fit nicely into this integer variable. That's what's happening here. Once I have the new height in place, okay, the height increased by 10%, I can assign that to the picture box's height property. Okay, and then I can do the same thing with the width. Multiply it by 1.1, have to typecast it to get it to fit into this new width variable. But once I have that in the new width variable, I'm home free. I set the picture box width property to that new width. So that's really the increase. The decrease is going to be 
the same except I'm multiplying by 0.9. Making it 90% of itself would give me a decrease of 10% on the picture size. And, and that's really it. And then um, this for the uh, custom size, that's when the submit button becomes available. And then whatever the user has typed into here, the height in pixels, the width in pixels, I can really just, I'm, I'm parsing it, of course, from those text boxes, parse it using int parse, parse those values from the text boxes, and then I'm home free. I can just uh, put those into custom height and custom width variables, and then I'm setting the dimensions of the picture box to the new custom height and custom width values. And that's it. Not, not very sophisticated code, uh, but really the, the only snag here is the whole type mismatch thing. But, but that does come up from time to time, so it is something that I want you to kind of keep in the back of your mind.